for the graph below give the x and the y intercept and the equation of the graph now let us read let us uh, understand the main uh, points which are the x intercept the y intercept and the vertex so this uh, these are the x intercepts and this is the y intercept this y intercept also looks like the vertex this is the turning point so this is your x intercept so let me write this is your x intercept Okay, this is also your x-intercept. Both of them are x-intercept. This looks like vertex and the y-intercept. So this is the y-intercept and also the vertex and vertex. Okay, so let's write the coordinate of these points. The coordinates, it is, this looks like minus 3. So the x-intercept is 1 in, is minus 3 comma 0. When you ask the x-intercept, it's always good to write in the coordinates instead of writing only minus 3 and plus 3. And this is 0, comma, negative 9. Okay, so you can say the x-intercepts, um, uh, you can say the x-intercept, the x-intercepts are minus 3, comma, 0, and 3 comma 0 okay and the y-intercept and the y-intercept is is 0 comma negative 9 0 comma negative 9 so i want to write the equation in two different ways and show that they both are one and the same but when you look at the x-intercept from the x-intercept, you can tell the equation like this. y is equal to a times x plus for minus 3. You have to put x plus 3. And this is x minus 3. Very logical. When would this become 0? At the x-intercept, your y value is 0. Okay. So when would this become 0? When x is minus 3. And when would this become 0? When x is plus 3. Okay, that's how I can write a times x plus 3 times x minus 3. Now, a is a scale factor. a actually does three things. It can make a parabola uh, skinnier or fatter, or it can also make it upside down. Yeah, this is a basic parabola, so a has to be positive. Okay, a can be 1, so let's confirm whether a is 1. So I'm going to put... Uh, I cannot put the x-intercept here, but, but because if you put x as minus 3 or plus 3, this a will get cancelled. Okay, so you'll have y is equal to 0, okay, which is not what we want. We want to find a. So I'm going to put this value or this point in this, in this equation. So I know that y is negative 9, y is negative 9 when x is equal to 0. So let's put this back in this equation. So I can say minus 9 is equal to a times 0 plus 3, 0 plus 3 times 0 minus 3. So you can say minus a minus 9 is equal to a times, this is 3 times minus 3. So you can say minus 9 is equal to minus 9a. So a is 1. A has to be 1. Okay. So directly the equation is, the equation is y is equal to, you don't need to write 1, is x plus 3 times x minus 3. x minus 3. Okay. Now you can also write this equation in a different way by just looking at the vertex. Okay. The vertex, the basic parabola has gone 9 down okay so yeah we know a is 1 so this is a basic parabola so you can say this equation is nothing you can also write let me use a different color this is also y is equal to x squared minus 9 x squared minus 9 you can understand from so if you expand this you can understand this is x squared minus 9 so this parabola is basic parabola which has gone 9 down okay i'm talking about the basic parabola is y is equal to x squared. Suppose this is the graph of 
y is equal to x squared. Okay, this is the graph of y is equal to x squared. This basic parabola has gone 9 down. That's what I mean. Okay. Let us look at the next question. The parabola is moved 1 unit to the right and 3 and 2 up. So this parabola, from this point, the vertex moves 1 to the right. That means this has, let me delete this. Okay, so that you can see properly. Okay, so let me cancel this whole thing. Okay, so what, what they're saying is, the basic parabola has moved one to the right and two up. So this, we are focusing only on the vertex. So this has gone one to the right, it has gone one to the right, and two up, one, two. So the basic parabola has now you can ignore this whole thing. So this is a this is a basic parabola. So this is y is equal to x squared. So what they're saying is, instead of saying that this has gone one up and two, sorry, one across and two up, it's the same as saying this basic parabola. This basic parabola has gone one to the right. And how much down? So this point, let's write the coordinate of this point. The coordinate of this point is 1, comma, 1, comma, negative 7. So I'll repeat it again. Instead of saying this parabola has gone 1 to the right and 2 up, okay? Can we say, because we know this is a basic parabola which has gone 9 down, we can say this that is same as saying this basic parabola, which is y is equal to x squared, this is the basic parabola, y is equal to x squared, has moved 1 to the right, has moved 1 to the right, and 7 down. Okay, so the equation of that parabola should be y is equal to, it has gone 1 to the right, so a is 1 there. So we already know the coefficient is 1. It has gone 1 to the right, so that means x minus 1, the whole squared, minus 7. We'll confirm this. We just all, just want to confirm the vertex. This basic parabola has gone like this. So let me use a different color. This basic parabola has become now like this. This has moved. This has become like this. It's gone 1 to the right and 7 down. So let me get the calculator and type in the equation uh, bracket x minus 1 squared minus 7. Okay, I need to change the scale, make it uh, standard 10 by 10, and we only need to confirm the vertex. Okay, so g solve, and this is called the minimum. So 1 comma negative 7. 